What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. My name is Noah. That is my little dog, my little muddy dog, Charles. Hey, so yeah, I wasn't gonna make a video today, but uh, <laughs> check this out. Check that monstrosity out. We're gonna have fish sandwiches tonight, and uh, yeah, my dad, so uh, how we do this is we put our kayaks up where we're gonna get in the water at, or we drive the truck down to where we're gonna get out, okay? And then we take an Uber back up to where we got in at, and we fish our way down, throw the car, throw the, um, the boats in the truck, go home. Um, and while I was on my Uber ride to this place, um, to the place to put in at, our put-in point, um, yeah, my dad caught that saw guy. So, um, with that being said, I'm actually missing a bunch of good water, so I'm gonna put you guys back on the chest, and yeah, hope you guys enjoy this video. This one's gonna be cool. Like it, catch, clean, cook, enjoy it. You're gonna fall in, bud. You're gonna get a little wet up there. Woohoo! Good boy, Bubba. Good boy. You're good boy. My dad's phone fell in the water. Yeah, I don't put that on video. Okay. <laughs> it's going in the wet video. You break off? No, I got his damn lure tied on it. So too much is happening right now. His phone just fell in the water. You find it? Oh, you found it. Wow. Is it is it waterproof? Seriously? Is it one of the waterproof ones? I seriously doubt that. Okay. Yeah, I can't believe I freaking. Dude, here wait, show 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 me. What? How in the world? <laughs> that is crazy. Oh my god. Come here, dad. It's a big old smallie. Yeah, buddy. Woo! Look at that. Yeah, and my GoPro's rolling. Big old Smalley. Big old side of Smalley. That's a good boy, Bubba. I got him. You know, I, you know where he hit it, though? I stopped reeling for a second, and he picked it up as I stopped it. They are choking it, though. Nice little smallie. Can't complain about that. Oh, baby. I'll let this one go. Oh. There's, oh, I just missed another one. It's a white bass. Yeah. Here, here, grab my oar. Watch your pole. Hey, bud. Oh, yeah. Did you just have another one? Yeah. No, throw it again. Throw it again. Yeah, we might have. We might get a school, school away fast. Yeah. Throw it. Throw it again. I'll just keep stringing them on. <laughs> it's gonna be fun. Ah, ah, ah. Fishing regulations here. So I'm just checking to see. Uh, striped hybrid white bass. Limit is 30. No more than four over 15 inches. Walleye, sogai. Sauger and Sog Eye. Six singly or in combination. Minimum size, none. We're eating good tonight, boys. Alrighty, y'all, we're back in the garage. Uh, we're gonna get these fish all cleaned up. Caught three fish we're gonna feed the family with. Hopefully, we'll get enough. I think we will. Uh, just so you guys know, sharp knife, a bin filled with water, um, and then a cutting board and a cutting surface, obviously. We'll go ahead and clean up the white bass first. The white bass that we caught. I'm gonna get a couple nice fillets off of that guy. It's really hard to, this fish is very slippery. All right. There is one cleaned white bass. Pretty gross. But he's gonna make a very tasty sandwich. 
So you got your two striped bass fillets. I'm gonna use, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. It's usually I can just like pinch the skin here, but these guys are slimy. Basically all I'm doing here is pinching the skin down and taking the knife pointed down and following it up underneath the skin. It's just taking the skin off of all the fish. The skin will come right off. I learned this in uh, Florida, watching a guide do it. All right, there's your white bass fillet. I'm actually pretty impressed with myself on that one. It's gonna go in the water, get washed off. We're gonna come over here, do the same thing over here. Oh yeah, buddy. There we go. Fillet number two. That's what I'm talking about. All right, next on the menu is actually, this is the saw guy that I caught. Not bad, not terrible, but not enormous. Pretty sure these guys are super tough too. But I'm gonna do him basically the same way. This is just a random Noah thought, but whenever I think about doing stuff like this, you know, obviously this isn't the most pleasant of work. Definitely isn't the most pleasant thing ever. Um, but when it comes down to it, the greatest thing about eating wild caught game is that you know where your food came from. And even you know where its food came from. And you know that it wasn't raised on a farm, pumped full of all kinds of growth hormones and just grossness. And it lived a good, healthy, happy life up until it did it. Which is where you come in. This is the biggest saw guy I have ever seen. This thing is a freaking tank. Probably weighs about like eight pounds maybe. Eight-ish pounds. Look at that. That's crazy. Woo! Look at that. Slab. That is a cleaned out saw guy. All right, I'm gonna do the same thing with these ones as I did with the other ones. Because we do not want skin. This is the last fillet, and that will include our, or conclude, our cleaning process. We will see you guys in the kitchen. All right, y'all, so we are gonna make uh, fried fish sandwiches on buttered brioche buns, and we are also gonna make a homemade tartar sauce. So we're gonna start with homemade tartar sauce. Here's what you need. Some diced up green onion, some mayonnaise, some sweet relish, some salt, some pepper, some lemons. All right, so you get your mayonnaise. We're gonna double it, so we need two cups. So I'm gonna do... <laughs> it's a lot, okay. Well, there's definitely a better way to do this. All right, we need two cups. So there's one. All right, got our mayo. Now, you need wheat relish. Right, we're gonna go two tablespoons. One, two. One tablespoon minced green onion. Two tablespoons. Uh, and then we need a tablespoon of lemon juice. Oh yeah. One, two. Get a little more lemon. Can't do anything wrong with a little more lemon. All right. And then a quarter tablespoon, or a quarter teaspoon, I'm sorry, of kosher salt. So we're gonna need a half teaspoon. Ooh, that should be good. And a half teaspoon of black pepper. Boom. Give her a stir. Into the fridge. For 30 minutes. This needs to sit in the fridge for 30 minutes. Okay, for this next part, you need some saltine crackers, kosher salt, some pepper, 
some buttermilk, some lemon, some panko breadcrumbs, and some Old Bay seasoning. Your next step, take your lemon, take your fish, dry it out, cut into smaller chunks. We're gonna squeeze the lemon all over the fish. That one's gonna be for the Charles, yeah? All right, so the next step, take your buttermilk. We're gonna do a cup of that. And then we're gonna do a teaspoon, uh, or two teaspoons, I'm sorry, of black pepper. So two, two teaspoons of salt. We're gonna mix all this together. This is gonna be what we dip the fish in before we uh, make our breading. Next step, take a bowl like this. And we're going to do, what do we say? Two, that's probably about a cup right there. All right, once these are all finely crushed up, half cup of panko, panko breadcrumbs. We're just gonna, you know what? We don't need a cup measure. We can do it. And then we need a tablespoon of Old Bay. Get that all up in there. Oh, wow, that was too much. Okay, guys, we're ready to fry them up. Uh, so we got the, the uh, liquid buttermilk, salt, and pepper, and then we've got uh, our, our breadcrumbs here. All right, so what you're gonna do, you're gonna take your fish, dip it in the buttermilk, into the, the breading, into the oil. Woo! Hot dog! Into the butter, batter, whatever you want. Into the oil. All right, this first piece should be ready. It's looking pretty good. I'm gonna give it a spin. It'll cook for about 30 seconds on that side. And we'll be good to go on that one. All right, we're gonna take it out. First piece coming out. Woo! Hot dog. Toby. What? You don't eat fish, right? You don't usually like fish. You like that? Good. What about you, Very Mom? good. Lightly toasted brioche bun. I'm gonna come over here and do some of this homemade tartar sauce. Tomato, onion, a little more tartar. Just top it all off, you know, keep it all together. Grab you some fish. As a family, honest thumbs up or thumbs down? Three, two, one. Honestly? Worth it? Good? Middle? Honest? Okay. It's edible. Wild. It's edible. That's all we're looking for. Thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned a thing or two. We'll see you on the next one.